All right, so here's those opto boards out of the uh, Incredible Technology Strata Bowling. So Incredible Technologies and Strata Bowling can be found as two different games online. The Incredible Technologies version has these optos and uses that uh, cue ball or whatever size pool ball you want to use in order to play the game. Strata Bowling is a trackball game. So if you go looking online for schematics for this, you're probably not gonna find them. I didn't have any luck finding them. So what we have here is a couple of op amps on either end. I forget what that chip in the center there is called, but it takes the uh, signals from the two op amps and then amplifies them, sends them out to the board. The way these work is there's a pair of receivers on each of these boards. There's one receiver here and one receiver over here. As seen by a little small hole versus that larger hole. Those two larger holes are the output LEDs. But usually in an optic situation, you've got the receiver and the opto facing each other and then they're breaking they're sorry they're broken by an optic encoder or let's say in a you know in a pinball machine a ball will pass by them and then that breaks the uh, line of sight between the two of them this system however this opto that output right there it's not coming out straight okay it's coming out at an angle that opto that output right there is coming over here to this side's input so this receiver is looking at that output this output that receiver same thing here this output this receiver this output this receiver so both boards have to be in the game in order for this test to be, even be done and if the um, if the outputs are bad nothing's gonna work so testing optos is fairly simple you just need a multimeter put that multimeter on DC voltage I'm going to go ahead and turn this on now. All right, on our connector here, we've got uh, five wires. That one's negative five. That's one of our signals. Red's plus five. Ground is black. And this is another one of our signals. This uses plus five and negative five because of the op amps. They need that plus and minus voltage in order to operate correctly. As seen here, I will test the yellow wire. There you go, negative five. And I'm gonna put my probe in this green wire. And if I can get these things, these boards uh, facing each other correctly, we should see the meter change. Oh, there we go. And now if I break the line of sight, see the voltage change? So I'm gonna remove my hand, put my hand back, remove back. So that's how you test optos. This is uh, test is true on track balls, pinball machines, pretty much anything that uses an opto. I can't see the, oh, now we can see, you can see the outputs are lit up. Some phones have um, filters on the camera that don't allow you to see infrared. This phone does not, the phone I had before it did which kind of sucked. So um, 
Yeah. This board's got something wrong with it. It's not switching either of the output signals. Let's see here. Let me try that pin right there. And we'll move until we get this thing in place. Wait. Ah, nope. Yeah, see this, it's just wires jiggling, picking up voltage. So again, to test optos, usually very simple. You can do this with either your black probe left in uh, ground or the red probe left in plus five. It works either way. And I'm fighting getting my probe back out, here we go. I'll show you the other way with red and plus five. So right now, I got black in the ground pin there. Take this out. I'll put that black wire on one of the signals. Oh, and the red wire in plus five. As you can see there. Okay, now we need to get these things adjusted, so there we go. Okay, so that is uninterrupted. Interrupted. Uninterrupted. Interrupted. So you can do this in pretty much any game that uses optos. It, you know, obviously this is a little bit more complicated, but like a trackball, it's got four pins on it. It's got, uh, you know, the opto board's got four pins on it. We've got ground plus five in each of the two outputs. So you would leave your red probe in plus five or the ground probe in ground and then just probe the other two signals and slowly move the trackball or otherwise break the opto just to see if it's switched on and off. That's all you're looking for. Just want to see that switch.